So first thing, I'm going to use the wine chuckle. I'm going to put the material links in the video descriptions. All right, I'm going to quickly put the location. So I'm going to, I don't want to make the faces too big. Like about, about this size. Composition is very crucial. Okay. Now, since I decided this is the location for the face, and the line track is very easy to manipulate, erase, like that. Okay, so this is the rough composition. From the eyebrows, the chin, the nose is right about a little bit lower than the, the half point. So this is good, right? And now I can see that the shadow of the nose is about over here. So I'm gonna mark this little location first. I have to put something on the paper. The bottom of it is very much the middle point, a little bit lower than the middle point from the nose to the chin. So this way, you can locate this. And then from here to there, the top of the lips and actually divide this in half. So you, there's a many different way you can find proportion. Uh, more you do it, it's just easier for you to find uh, a way quickly. Now we find the rough, big location. So for the hair, I just use the eraser. I'm gonna use this white charcoal, and this area has no charcoal. If there's charcoal, you first want to clean this first. So I'm gonna have this uh, blend this color a little bit in, but in the top over here, I'm gonna make the highlight over here. So mix first, I'm going to lift up the charcoal that already here. Okay. Now I'm gonna use the white charcoal start from Look at this area, it has a little bit lighter, right? So the paper color is served as the middle tone. And look at on the chin, this area is a little bit lighter. If the white chuckle a little bit too much, you can use the eraser to soften it, to make it a little lighter. What I did before, it mostly a rough appraisement. Now there's an issue over here. We cannot really see the side of the nose. And in this case, we need to use the white chuckle and give a little suggestions over here. We don't have to make it really light. It's a little bit like that. Now it suggests the edge of the nose. So now seeing the head, uh, lots of details in the hair, but you want to see the whole, the whole shape a little bit more highlight in the middle over here, supposed to be deserved a little bit more highlight. Okay, give a little bit and keep stretching or uh, twisting your needle eraser. I'm gonna have this light coming over here like that. I'm gonna keep a little bit light at the front over here. You don't want to keep everywhere is the same very range. Some area, uh, the darkest color, you need to limit it. It's not very dark. Like for example on the mouth, the darkest colors are only at the corner over here on this side, and it's not that dark. So let's clean that a little bit here. Make it a little softer. Okay, not looking for, there's a little line here like this. Okay, that's good. A little bit. Let's move it a little outward. 
That's good. Okay, looking for the suggestions of the mount is turning over because underneath the mount is the two rows of T. It's supposed to be rounded. Like this corner over here has like a, almost look like a triangle now. And has a little bit uh, shadow side over here. Okay, just look for the shape. You already taking care of the bigger shape. Now looking for the smaller shape. Okay, a little bit transition coming here and push it up. That's good. Now I'm going to see define it inside over here. That is a little line over here, a little bit darker. Just showing that uh, the mouth, uh, actually there is the line over here is that's the opening supposed to be right over here, like that. That's good. Now I'm looking for the lower lip. And let's define a little bit small narrow shape over here, like this. It's not very dark. And And a little detail like that. That's good. All right, that looks good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean a little bit over here. Use the eraser. And also at the corner of the mouth over here, make a little cleaner at the edge over here. And I'm going to use the white charcoal because this area a little bit lighter. And also plus, I need to create a little bit difference between this area and the lower lip but it doesn't need to be that light so I'm going to use my DD eraser to soften the white charcoal a little bit that's good so I'm going to give it a little little soft line really soft like this that's good now up here I'm going to connect that that's good but right under this nostril, it's not that sudden, a little bit softer, like that. Can make it. That's good. Now, now looking down over here, I'm going to have this value, a little bit soft blend in over here. Like that, that's good. Now, now this is supposed to, be, supposed to be a little bit lighter, so I'm going to use the media eraser. I don't have to totally clean the whole area here. Just tap on it to make it a little bit like that. That's good. Now I'm looking at back to the eye in this location. Now I'm going to see the iris here in the cleaner a little bit like that. That's good. And actually inside the eye white can be a little bit lighter. That means I might use uh, the white charcoal to help that. Okay, this can be a little bit lighter like that. Okay, now I'll come back over here. Let's take a look. I already have this area reserved it to be light. So put a little white over here. Um, I try to avoid to draw the white on top of the black charcoal. Like for example over here. I'm going to make it a little bit clean. Now before I'm going to put a little white charcoal in here. But I'm going to draw it really softly like this. Okay. So only this area. Like that. Right, and maybe over here a little bit, but it's not a lot. Sometimes you draw a little line when you're looking from distance, it looks just fine. And now come to this side, I'm going to do the same thing 
inside the eye white over here. Make it a little bit lighter. Now I think the drawing is finished. If you want to see the full version, you can come to a patron or my Gumroad store. I have the link in the video description for you to click on. I'm looking forward to see you in my next lesson.